you want to get good at sloppy ball real quick, sit back, relax, and enjoy all the information to get you started off on the right track in this super goofy but highly competitive volleyball game. Hey guys, I'm Compton EMT, and I'm here to give you the quick and dirty intro to become a great slappy ball player. Why me? I'm the four-peat slappy ball 3v3 tournament champ as the defender setter of Blizztain EMT, one of the top five all-time in weekly random 2v2 events, and the defensive player of the year for the one season of slappy ball league. Just call me Coach Compton, though. First off, if you haven't perused all my slappy ball content on YouTube and TikTok, make sure you check that out. There's educational content, tutorials, and more to help you refine your slapping. Now let's get started. You want to make sure you have everything set correctly to give you the best chance of success early on. This may not be gameplay, but it can be game breaking if you don't want to lose a ton in your first games. First, make sure your frame limit is set. Slappy Ball will attempt to pull every single frame it can if it's set to none. This was an issue in the beginning of Early Access with people claiming an untrue rumor which I will not repeat. Check the reviews if you want to know. Be assured they're not doing that. Secondly, you'll want to look at some settings lower down. Starting with camera type, this is an important first choice. Switching from one to the other later is a rough transition, so you want to figure this one out now. If you're playing mouse and keyboard, I suggest player cam as it gives you the full 360 movement of the camera for better accuracy in diving and hitting. If you're playing primarily as a defender or setter, I suggest what I use, stadium, and then full zoom out when you get in the game. Figure out what you like best early and stick with it. Turning on ball depth meter shows you a bar across the top of your screen that shows how close you are to the ball. I mainly used it in my competitive grind in VOD review to pause and see where I was in relation to the ball. Turning on triangulation lines will help you out if you're having issues with the depth perception of the game's 3D Pong style camera. It draws a transparent line to the ball to ensure you know exactly where it is at all times. Dive assist is important, but there will be a whole section on it later, so we'll cover it then. Side note on settings, your quality setting doesn't affect much at all, but, and this is a big but, the ball on the space court is super annoying if you're running on higher epic as it has a black hole effect around the ball that isn't there on lower settings. So if this affects your gameplay, swap to lower settings, you won't miss much. Slappy Ball is a pretty unique game in its movement and mechanics. There's not a lot of volleyball games out there, let alone ones that move in a true 3D space. So let's talk about your early time in Slappy Ball. We've all been through the boring FPS tutorials that are use WASD or left click to move. I assure you, though, that you don't want to skip the drills in this game. Go into practice, followed by drills, and do each and every one of these to at least a one fire emblem. They are the fundamentals to a strong start in Slappy Ball. If you can get three fires on a bunch of them, you're off to an excellent start. Understanding the rules of Slappy Ball is probably one of the biggest fundamentals of the game. I'm just going to bullet point the important things here that are paramount to the difference between Slappy Ball and regular volleyball. Offside hits allow you to go around the perimeter of the opponent's side to touch the ball. Essentially, play like there are four nets. Front, main with an actual net, each side, and back. Bonus balls occur after 20 touches. Scoreboard location here. The rally is now worth one more point. Normal scores equal two, three pointers equal four. The three point will give you three points if it is hit, obviously. It grows when your team last touched the ball and it hits the wall. It also grows if the ball is on your side for too long. Taunting in the air does a flip in the appropriate direction, and it does work within the physics. See this tagged video above for an example of the same flip I use in different ways to hit the ball differently. Skill expression! It's definitely at a premium in Slappy Ball. When you double jump or dive in the air, it gets put on cooldown. You won't be able to immediately jump or dive after using one. Note, if you touch the ball, the cooldown immediately resets and you're able to jump or dive again. We've all been told to get good. Getting better in Slappy Ball though comes with time. Time played. 
It is necessary to train both in games and solo to improve as quick as possible in Slappy Ball. First things first, go play the game. Pick 3v3 online or versus bots and just understand how everyone moves in an actual game. After you've done that a bit, the strongest thing I can suggest to you is to jump into the practice menu and go to free play. The goal here is to get you used to the camera and movement of Slappy Ball. A lot of players in the past dropped off because they had issues with the 3D Pong perspective of the game. Doing what I like to call LNA drilling may seem boring, but it's a fundamental building block of becoming a strong Slappy Ball player early on. LNA stands for left stick or movement and A button or default jump button on an Xbox controller. Your goal here is to work on touching, setting, and hitting without the use of other mechanics in the game. That means no slaps, no set, no dive, and no flip. If you can interact with the ball properly with just touching it, you'll be even better when using the mechanics at your disposal. I suggest five minutes of this every time you jump on just as a warm-up. You'll feel it later. Trust me, it works. As you get better, you'll want to take off some of the crutches that the game gives you in the form of its dive assist. Dive Assist is an auto-aim add to the dive mechanic in the game. It will correct your input and send you straight at the ball. Air dives lock on at an even further distance than standing on the ground. Dive Assist Full is a super long cone. It basically has the distance to lock on diagonally across almost your whole side of the court. Air dives off super jumps early on in the game's life were a huge part of the gameplay at the top level. Dive Assist Competitive is basically a baseball home plate shaped pentagon that has a lot less distance than Dive Assist Hold. Dive assist off is easy to understand. There is no dive assist. None. I'm a strong supporter of this one and it's what I've played on since it was implemented in the first year of early access. Big note on this one. When your journey brings you to playing in the competitive queue, you will be forced to a max setting of DA competitive. Because of this, I suggest all players move their personal setting to competitive as quickly as they feel comfortable doing so. 99% of tournaments, events, and everything else since it was added have been played this way as well. If you plan to compete, DA full, you must delete. If you choose to go the hardcore route and play with it fully off like I do, you'll definitely want to learn how to use the soft stop input to stop yourself from flying off the table with every dive. Also in this section, I wanted to discuss super dives. These occur when you push jump and dive at the same time. They allow you to dive faster and further than a normal dive. Originally, this was an unintended mechanic. It was left in the game though, as it provided a bit of depth to diving. As in any game, there is tech to be learned. I've got a few to get you started, but uh, we're learning new ones all the time. Flips on serves, or fancy serves, allow you to maintain momentum through the ball. I have a 101 video linked above that will give you a broken down tutorial on how to do the basic form of this. What we refer to as trapping the ball is the act of falling on the ball before it makes contact with the ground. Due to the game's physics and trying to keep players from accidentally scoring on themselves, the game will actually shove the ball up again. It's very useful if you whiff on a hit and need to save the ball yourself, or if you're coming down from a block and manage to tip it downwards. Combo touches, combo touches. These lovely little things will allow you to manipulate the ball in different ways or even double tap. Two good examples are combo flipping. You do this by pressing one flip, then a different flip. Side into front should give you a slight angle based on the side flip you use. Fire flips are done by pressing the slap and front flip at the same time. Slapping is the only thing that can use the fire mechanic. Inputting both together allows you to hit a flip with fire. Mess around, try some things, and figure out some more combos to improve your game. Note that the ball can be hit under the net. Usually in this situation, the net acts like a player and traps the ball from the floor. This is super useful in joust situations and can lead to a tool off the other team for a score if you do it right. Juggling is possible in Slappy Ball. There are a few forms of this, but essentially once your movement is good enough, you'll be able to manipulate the ball in the air utilizing the cooldown reset we mentioned before from touching the ball. Mess around with the mechanics of the game and link me to some videos of the cool new things that you find. I always love to see what people come up with. That's it. That should get you started.
Go out there and start slapping some balls. If you like this content, I'm going to plug my YouTube and TikTok one more time. Watch them, learn from them, develop beyond them. Remember to join the official Slappy Ball Discord where all the main weekly events and tournaments will be posted. Keep it friendly though. MLR asked me to be a moderator for them. I'm not above using that band hammer. For now though, I bid you a farewell. Happy slapping. Coach Compton, head back into my office. I'll see you later.